your customers need to be happy otherwise they won't come back and there's this thing called the fucking internet which shit can blow up now and people can just say like what well, i'm going on a fucking rant i'm not even a customer i guess what i'm saying in this video it's not a, it's not a shade video towards jacqueline at all it's me kind of saying if you're going to run a business this is a good example of what not to do as a business owner myself, I thought I would sit down today and put my two cents in in regards to what's happening with Jaclyn Cosmetics at the moment. As a consumer and a lover of makeup, and as someone that hasn't even purchased a Jaclyn Cosmetics lipstick, I still felt the need to kind of speak up. And I think it might have gone to the point where irreversible damage has been done. If you want to hear what I think about this situation, keep on watching. Hello, I'm Evelina Damori. Welcome back to my channel. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Let's get straight into it. So like I said in the intro, I haven't even bought a lipstick. I've been watching a lot of Jaclyn Hill recently and I have purchased a few brushes that she's recommended. And honestly, my whole makeup routine and how I set my face and how I use concealer has changed because of her. I try to stay away from drama, but sometimes drama is fun and addictive. I couldn't help myself. I just wanted to film this video. And this isn't this video isn't about shading or anything at all. Like like I said, I don't have any of her products, so I can't comment, but I have watched at least 20 videos on people showing hairs and fragments and not even just the white fuzzy hairs like black hairs one had a i don't even want to say it like a follicle or a follicle head on it that it resembled a pubic hair let's just go there like if your lipstick has hairs in it there's something wrong what kind of rubbed me the wrong way a little bit was her video it almost looked like she was angry rather than concerned for the integrity of her brand, which I guess was the point of doing that video. First, when I heard this, I thought, but wait, how are a couple people wearing white fluffy gloves gonna put this many fluffy white little fuzzies all over my product? That doesn't make sense, right? Well, then once I started seeing videos and I started seeing proof and then my team actually did our own investigation, it actually made a lot more sense in my mind. And that video was put on over a week ago now. And if you check out her Instagram pages, they're completely dead, they're silent. You go from her posting three to four posts a day on her personal Instagram and on Jaclyn Cosmetics, two to three to four times a day to nothing over a week now. I think last time I checked, the last one was the 7th of June and it's now, what is it, the 19th? So it's a week and a half. I don't think that's going to sit well with her consumers. And I watched one video recently, I'll link it down below, of a girl that's in Victoria. Her makeup was absolutely fucking stunning and she bought two lipsticks and this girl sent an email to the one that was referenced in Jacqueline's recent video. Anyway, it's been over a week and she hasn't heard back. I don't know, it's, it takes one second to set up an autoresponder. You know, even if I'm going away for like two or three days, as a small business owner, I put on an autoresponder because I don't want to leave my customers hanging. I want you guys to know I'm honest. I'm like, hey, I'm away. I'm at SeaWorld with my kids. I'm not going to be checking my emails as frequently. I will be back on this date, blah, 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 blah. Please sit around and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. That's just fucking common courtesy. So this poor girl in Melbourne had ordered two shades and said she's been waiting a week and a half, hasn't heard anything. She's messaged them on Instagram. She's done DMs on Twitter and they just seem in complete meltdown. If that was me, I would be hiring a team of people to get on my customer service team and help handle this disaster to possibly try to pull my brand out of it without being completely covered in mud and completely tarnished by the end of it. I mean, literally, literally you can go into Outlook one second, set up an autoresponder. Every day that this customer has to wait is making them feel like they're not loved, that they're not appreciated. And what I'm seeing a lot of people mention in videos is that it feels like Jaclyn Hill just wanted their money and now doesn't care that this has happened. She mentioned five issues in her video, but so many other things have come out that the brand isn't addressing either. They kind of just said there's five things that are wrong with it. You know, they're not harmful if you're happy to still continue using it. You know, we're fine with that. <laughs> Who fucking ever says that? You guys know I've probably had over the last 400 bags I've sent out, I probably had 20 customers that had issues. They emailed me, if it's an issue that can't be fixed, I send you a new bag. If I've sold out and I can't send you a new bag, we work something out. I either refund you, it always ends in a refund, or the customer being happy. That's like the number one rule in business. If you search Jacqueline, I'm sure it's the number one trending thing on uh, the internet at the moment, especially on Twitter and YouTube. And unfortunately, it's all negative. It's not really positive. I don't think saying that the white fibers are just from gloves and they're just on the outer layer and if you're okay with it, you know, just wipe them away. I don't think that was a very responsible 
response. Honestly, I think there should have been a recall. There's so much going on and I, I actually think that's what's going to happen in the next few days. I think most of her followers and customers will be like about fucking time. It took you that long to realize like they're in damage control. That's, that's the word I was looking for before. They need to hire a whole bunch of people, customer service team to just get on those emails and they need to be in damage control. This is not the time to be silent. On a very small scale, I've had that happen too. Say my death candy mirrors or any bag that I made with mirrors, they all came scratched. They had the little protective cover over them, but when you took them off, they were scratched. I was fucking heartbroken. But you know what? I had done so much manufacturing. I learned the hard way that you need to check every single item. And you know what? I even employed some people to do that and some of them were really good, but some like were just, complacent as well and it's kind of come down to me and my husband doing it again this is on a much smaller scale but quality control of cosmetics needs to be so fucking high and she's saying that it's in one percent of the makeup how can so many people be receiving bad stock and now that they're sold out they're kind of in a position where they can't like send you more what i think she will need to do is do a recall i don't even think people should bother sending it back because it's like she's just going to have to reimburse postage and that's going to it might kill the business financially but she will have to remake the lipsticks and get the formula right and then resend them to all of the customers that may save this situation but has it still left a bad taste in everybody's mouth in insanely powerful influencers mouths absolutely i've seen so many people where they're like i don't even want to be associated with this anymore it's crazy i mean i'm making this video for you because i'm so kind of absorbed in the drama right now i've been very into makeup the last probably two or three months. The last video I filmed yesterday was a full review on the entire Fenty collection. I'm loving makeup. I've always loved makeup, but I don't know, the older I get, the maybe the more I can afford it. <laughs> so I'm just enjoying doing it. But it just shows you that you can't rush things. And what I don't get as well is that she said she's been working on this for five to seven years, not nonstop. And maybe that was just the component that the lipstick was put in. But why would you work so long on, even if it was just the colors, the shade development and the component, and then spend like two weeks, which is kind of what it sounded like, on the actual lipstick and the manufacturing? Why would you rush that part? Why would you possibly use a cheaper factory? Why would you not check? You know, so, I, I don't get it. I don't get how a company could fuck up on such a grand scale. I get it if their quality control of their factory just said, yeah, it's all fine, just send it out. I get that can happen. But that also means that the company that she used had zero quality control for all those fibers and stuff. Because it's not just the white gloves, there's stuff inside the lipsticks. It's almost like it's been tampered with. So is someone possibly at the factory, like got this little container of like hairs and glass and things, things that should not be inside lipsticks. Have they put that in the colors? and just totally fucked up the lipsticks and she is completely oblivious to it and she's going through this like what the fuck is actually go like i don't i don't understand what people are saying that would make sense to me her reaction in trying to explain this it's like have they been tampered with that's something that would make sense because the more videos that i watch i'm just trying to understand what is truth and what is not and her video honestly didn't come across <laughs> very sincere you know in my drag makings bag we found a little issue with the inside zipper and i used stainless steel zippers because they are the best but they need to be broken in i knew this but i thought most people knew it as well so i was getting a few emails and by a few it was like two and then four and then suddenly I got ten a day I'm like okay this is an issue I need to figure it out and it's like people couldn't even open them and all it was is that they weren't broken in but because you couldn't even open it up you couldn't break it in we had to figure out through trial and error that if you opened it enough and then put something inside the pocket to expand it and pull the teeth of the zipper out then you could like use it so it's like the pocket needed something inside it to make it work which kind of makes sense but how the fuck would you ever think to check that before you send it to a customer. I had a Black Friday handbag sent out where the internal pockets weren't pockets. I'm like, what? the customer emailed me. I'm like, what, what do you mean they're not pockets? And she's like, you open the zip and where you put your hands in and there should be a pocket. I said, spell it out to me, please send me a video because <laughs> I'm not getting it. She's like, you can't put your hands in. They've so, I'm like, so you're telling me my company is fucked up on one of the bags. They made 400. They've sewn over the part so you can't put your hand in. And she's like, yes. I'm like, so now as part of my quality control, I open the zippers and I put my fingers in to make sure that they fucking open. Like never in my life would I have thought to have checked shit like that. I'm sure she, in hindsight, it was like, never would I have thought if I employed a legitimate cosmetics factory that would I have to open and check for all these crazy things. You just wouldn't. And I guess it's a hard lesson to learn on her part. 
and I've learnt it on a much smaller scale. But fuck, oh my god. I feel for the poor girl, I do. Like, I'm, just, I'm really fucking feeling for her, but at the same time, I don't agree as a business owner with how she's approaching it. I think she just needed to come on and, like, do a real chat. Probably not in a normal filming area. You know, like, this is a serious issue. I'm just, I'm just turning my phone on. This needs to be addressed immediately and say okay there's some kind of issue we're not sending out any more stuff that's the thing as well i'm hearing that they're still shipping out orders i'm like why do you want to make the problem bigger people are probably just buying shit now so they can film youtube videos and look at the lipsticks under microscopes i <laughs> admittedly myself i've watched about five of those because they're very entertaining it's turning into those videos you know where my friend showed me these videos where they pop pimples like they pop pores when people have like white heads and black heads and you're like, look at all the stuff that came out of it. That is terrible. Can you imagine being like, I'm not saying, oh, poor Jacqueline Hill, but that's the category she's been pushed into at the moment. Here comes my little buddy. Hey, do you want to come join me in this video? But London's a zombie. London's a zombie? Yes. Oh gosh, come and join me. We're talking about lipsticks. I like this dressing gown. Oh, it's, not, it's a jacket, baby. Oh. Can I have some of what? You can have my hot tea, yeah. Can I have some of that? Yeah. So that is my rant. I need to wind up because the little munchkins have come in. I hope very quickly that the brand does a recall because I think that's the only thing that they should be doing at this point. I think a more heartfelt apology needs to go out addressing all the things that people are saying, like the metal shards, the blisters, the reactions to the skin. Like what the fuck's going on there? <laughs> I mean, she kind of did address that with the <laughs> FDA approved ingredients that she showed in her video, but I don't feel like it's enough. I hope they break their silence on social media and possibly find another factory, remake everything correctly and resend it out. Let's see what happens. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It is very different for my channel. If you are loving the drama as much as I seem to be, then leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. You're a zombie. Come here. And can you say, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. You're so cute. Can you say it? Thanks for watching. Oh, beautiful. You gotta look up at the camera. Up there. Thanks, thanks, for, thanks watching. for watching. Thanks, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. And I will wear oh, some big garbage. Oh my god. Okay, see you guys in the next video. Bye.